Or Florida may soon break a record high for water temperatures. Yeah, blowing by bathtub temperatures. A buoy in Manatee Bay located between the Everglades and Key Largo. Well, it recorded a water temperature of 101.1 degrees on Monday. So right now, USF's Keys Marine Lab is storing thousands of coral specimens in lab tanks until water temperatures cool down again. Fishing captains are also feeling the effect of the hot waters. They say the fishing season is slower because some of the fish are dying off. Um, I did notice last week driving through the bay, a bunch of dead fish floating. Um, I'm assuming that's definitely from the water temperatures. I um, also heard from some guys uh, scouting around for lobsters um, this year that they've seen some dead ones as well. That I'm assuming is also from the water temperatures. Now, for perspective, that 102 degree temperature recorded in Manatee Bay is what you would typically find in a hot tub. Yeah, Bobby, you were talking about this because it dropped back down, right? Yeah, that particular sensor that was 101 yesterday is now, right now, 89.4 degrees. Mm. But it, it appears it has something to do with the tide. Sure. Right. So when the tide, because the water at the top is hotter. Mm -hmm. So when the tide drops, the sensor is supposed to be five feet below average low tide. When the tide drops, you get closer to that top water. And so you see it fluctuate throughout the day. And it'll go back up to the upper 90s for today. But again, right now it's about 89 degrees. But still, oh, that top water of 101, 102 is wild. incredibly hot. Yeah. Here, here's where we're talking about. Obviously, let me show you our neck of the woods here now. 88 degrees uh, in Tampa. That's Clearwater, uh, Pier 60, Clearwater Beach. We're talking about this area right in here. And in fact, the record breaking numbers have been right in here. Very shallow area. A west wind has been pushing a lot of warm water up there. They've got the same thing that we've had with the west wind. It's been drier. And then there's also water that comes out of the Everglades that's been heated up. That's shallow. It's by land. So the sun can heat the land up and heat the water up. But still, to justify those numbers, is incredible. It, most water temps right now, lower 90s. These numbers are four to five degrees above average for this time of the year. And this is about as warm as they get.